It is the 6th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Good morning. Let's go ahead and start with the SOP.net. Japan scientists call for dumping of radioactive soil into the Pacific Ocean. Scientists have pr proposed dumping soil contaminated, contaminated by radiation from the Fukushima nuclear disaster into the deep sea. An idea certain to meet opposition both at home and abroad. And again, <sighs> mountain explodes violently in Vietnam as earth cracks. Scientists warn of of a coming quake. I read this this article and basically there's a huge dam. They're they're letting it top off for some reason, and and they're hearing loud explosions and rock falls on this mountain and it's become very unstable due to the weight of this water. Canada, gale force wind stream wreaks havoc in, in Rocky View, Alberta. Besker's street looked like a scene from a movie after a wicked windstorm blew through the town on November 27th. Wind speeds reached close to 100 kilometers an hour ripped the roofs off several buildings, brought down power lines, and sent debris flying in the village. United Kingdom braces for a bout with blizzard windstorm. Heavy rain and gale force winds have already wreaked havoc over Scotland, Northern Ireland, and parts of England, but now the December Damien snow is here causing more problems. Snow and ice are affecting roads across Northern Ireland, Scotland, and parts of Northern England. Uh, the Met Office has issued severe weather warnings for these areas, and police are urging motorists to be aware of the risks of black ice on the roads. High winds leave thousands without power in California, and we can remember that big windstorm we had not too long ago, uh, December 1st. Uh, many people still without power. And... Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, they got a, an economy story. Standard and Poor warns of 15 Eurozone nations of potential downgrades. Now, this is the corrupt uh, ratings company. Uh, it's just insane. The dominoes are falling. St strong, damaging winds ripped through East Java, Indonesia, leaving one person dead. One student was killed and 14 were injured when a roof of their school was torn off by strong winds on East Java's uh, Madara Island, officials said on Sunday. 21 other buildings were damaged on Saturday when the winds tore through the district. And that's about all they have night new tonight. Over to the RSOE, they got a bunch going on. Uh, of course, we still got the, the drought on the Danube River and, and uh, in Europe going on. Uh, the extreme weather out of Odessa, Texas, uh, severe snowfall. Apparently, they closed some schools down. Um, just a, a winter weather down there. Landslides in Colombia. Um, several people were killed and or injured due to torrential rains and um, the steep mountain slopes roads. Uh, that is Colombia. Uh, forest fire in Minnesota in Wadena. Now they believe it was caused by arson. Uh, somebody said they heard some firecrackers go off and a car that sped away. Um, heat wave in Australia and Victoria. Landslide in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, they had like several landslides. They said at least over 13 um, blocking off entire communities and it's just a big mess due to torrential rains. Cold wave in India. And we have a non-categorized event out of uh, Plymouth, Massachusetts. Apparently a six foot or a six inch long cylindrical broken on both ends piece of metal that, that weighed about two kilograms fell through the roof in a warehouse, busting the ceiling tiles out, and landed in a closet. Now, they called the FDA thinking it was a piece of airplane or something, um, but the FDA said that wasn't a piece of airplane. It might be off a wood chipper or something. Now, I seem to remember a day or two ago, Mary Greeley put out a win uh, video about the Phobos Grunt satellite, the Russian-Chinese satellite that's stuck in orbit. 
uh, that little pieces were falling off of it. And if I serve to remember right, she was saying something about a cylindrical, small cylindrical piece falling off of it. But I'll try to find that video and link it below. If not, check out Mary's stuff. Um, she's pretty good at what she does. So I'm thinking, is this a piece of the Phobos grunt that's, that's landed in Plymouth? And of course, uh, where else we got going? We got a volcano eruption in Mount uh, Gamalama volcano in Indonesia. Of course, um, the activity at Mount Etna in Sicily continues. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah, we got a volcano in Colombia gearing up. The Galeris volcano, uh, they went on high alert. They're expecting an eruption within the next 24, 48 hours. They're telling people to get the heck out of there. Uh, mandatory evacuations, that kind of thing. Of course, the ongoing drought that is Mex northern Mexico right now and all the chaos that that entails. Um... One else there, one other one, one other one. Now, I think that's about it off the RSOE. Uh, now over to the nuclear stuff. The insanity is just continues. Uh, this is the ENE news. Um, of course, I'll attach the links below. Radio, just a matter of time before molten core reaches groundwater at Fukushima, says architect of reactor number three. And you remember these are super huge reactors. This isn't Chernobyl, man. These are like, each reactor is like 12 or 24, I forget, size Chernobyl reactors are one of the largest ones in the world. And we have at least three of them confirmed meltdown. One of them full of MOX, which is the plutonium-based fuel. Magazine shows angler who died from leukemia fishing in Fukushima during May, two months after the meltdown. And they showed photos of him actually uh, out fishing in the Fukushima district saying everything's okay. Uh, Yamori Mayor near Fukushima dies, had recently been hospitalized two weeks with ENTERITIS and tritis, which is affected by many Chernobyl liquidators. Local government test kids' lunches. Tokyo nursery schools serving milk with 18 becquerels per kilogram of cesium. That's over 160 times the EPA limit. The milk industry is protesting, of course. <sighs> They're feeding this to the preschoolers. Just, just back from Chernobyl muta mutations not seen anywhere else in the world. Much greater frequency in contaminated areas directly proportional to radiation levels, and they have a video attached with that. So we might have to look forward to Godzilla after all off the coast of Japan. Top Burt, biology professor, incredibly high frequency of very, very large abdominal tumors observed in the latest trip to Chernobyl, and he's talking about the wildlife and the cancer rates in the, in the wildlife in the Chernobyl evacuation zone uh, continues to this day. 5.8 trillion becquerels of strontium leaked from Fukushima over the weekend, and that's that big spill I reported on. Uh, Japan Time, TEPCO's decontamination system does not remove strontium. Media butchers details on the latest Fukushima leak. No big surprise there. WSJ, new leak detected at Fukushima plant. Uh, Ashai, strontium at 1 million times government limit. And uh, finally tonight, government, or German radiation expert, no way to stop nuclear fuel that's melted through. I uh, can only pray that it does not touch an under underground water vein. And again, people are just saying it's a matter of time. Uh, as far as my local testing today, uh, since everybody's who's interested to follow along, that's my local background. Up, It's actually uh, just about the same as yesterday. Um, 30, you know... 32, 33 CPMs per minute. And um, that's about all I have for you tonight. Just remember to have fun today. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks for all your help.